Welcome to Merivit Education Center. This lesson is for Mathematics Pratum 6. Hello everyone, this is Teacher Leslie. Today, we're going to talk about volume and capacity of cube and cuboids. Before we start our discussion, let's review the difference between volume and capacity. Capacity is the amount of space a container can hold. Look at these containers. Each container can hold one liter of liquid. That is the amount of space they have for holding a liquid. So, each container has a capacity of one liter. While volume is the amount of space occupied by an object. Let's take a look at these containers. Each container has 200 milliliters of liquid inside. The volume of liquid in each container is 200 milliliters. Can you tell me the volume of water in the pitcher and the capacity of the pitcher? That's correct. This pitcher has a capacity of 500 milliliters. That is the amount of liquid the pitcher can hold. And the volume of liquid in the pitcher is 250 milliliters. That is the amount of liquid inside the pitcher. Good job, kids! Now, let's get started. Cube and cuboid are 3D shapes. 3D shapes have three dimensions. Length, width, and height. To measure volume and capacity, we can use the following basic units. Cubic unit, cubic centimeter, or cubic meter. A cube measures 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Let's find the volume of this cube. Since the length of each side of a cube is the same, we use the formula volume of cube is equal to length times length times length. So, 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the volume of this cube is 125 cubic centimeters. Remember, to find the volume and capacity of cubes, we use the formula volume or capacity is equal to length times length times length. A cuboid measures 11 meters by 6 meters by 4 meters. Let's find the volume of this cuboid. Since cuboids have three different measurements, the length, width, and height, the volume is found using the formula volume of cuboid is equal to length times width times height. So, 11 times 4 times 6 equals 264 cubic meters. Therefore, the volume of this cuboid is 264 cubic meters. Remember, to find the volume and capacity of cuboids, we use the formula volume or capacity is equal to length times width times height. Let's discuss the following examples. Example number one. Let's find the volume of this cuboid. The formula that we're going to use is volume is equal to length times width times height. So, 18 centimeters times 4 centimeters times 12 centimeters is equal to 864 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the volume of this cuboid is 864 cubic centimeters. Example number two. Let's find the capacity of this solid. Look at the figure and its measurement. To find the capacity, you can move some parts of the figure in different ways. This part of the figure is a cube. The length of the cube is equal to this part. We can move this cube to form a cuboid. It is easier to find the capacity this way. 
This figure is a cuboid. We calculate the capacity of cuboids by using the formula capacity is equal to length times width times height. So, 1 and 5 tenth meter times 5 tenth meter times 1 meter equals 7,500 cubic meter. Therefore, the capacity of this solid is 7,500 cubic meter. Example number 3. Let's calculate the volume of the solid. We can divide this figure into two parts. We have two cuboids. To find the volume of cuboids, we use the formula volume is equal to length times width times height. Let's solve the volume of the first part of the solid. 6 millimeters times 4 millimeters times 4 millimeters is equal to 96 cubic millimeters. Next, let's solve the volume of the second part of the solid. 12 millimeters times 6 millimeters times 3 millimeters equals 216 cubic millimeters. To find the volume of the whole figure, we're going to add the volume of the first part of the solid to the second part of the solid. So, 96 plus 216 is equal to 312 cubic millimeters. Therefore, the volume of this solid is 312 cubic millimeters. Example number 4. Let's calculate the volume of the solid. Look at this figure. We can also divide the figure into two parts. To find the volume of each part, we're going to use the formula volume is equal to length times width times height. Let's solve the volume of the first part of the figure. 30 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 30 centimeters equals 9,000 cubic centimeters. Next, let's solve the volume of the second part of the figure. 30 centimeters times 20 centimeters times 20 centimeters equals 12,000 cubic centimeters. To find the volume of the whole figure, we're going to add the volume of the first part of the figure to the second part of the figure. So 9,000 plus 12,000 equals 21,000 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the volume of this figure is 21,000 cubic centimeters. Now it's your turn. Get your paper and pens ready. Try to solve this problem. A regular tank measuring 32 centimeters by 18 centimeters by 20 centimeters is two third filled with water. Find the volume of water in the tank and the capacity of the tank. Are you ready? Let's start. Let's solve for the volume of water in the tank. What formula are we going to use to find the volume? Good job! Volume is equal to length times width times height. Did you get the answer? Let's check. 2 third times 32 times 18 times 20 equals 7,680 cubic centimeters. Next, let's solve for the capacity of the tank. What formula are we going to use to find the capacity? Great! Capacity is equal to length times width times height. Did you get the answer? Let's check. 32 times 18 times 20 is equal to 11,520 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the volume of water in the tank is 7,680 cubic centimeters, while the capacity of the tank is 11,520 cubic centimeters. Good job, kids! I hope you learned something new today. See you next time. Goodbye!